Yeah. Okay, uh, lesson 132 of A Course in Miracles. I loose the world from all I thought it was. What keeps the world in chains but your beliefs? Mm. Yeah, so I agree with that. What is binding us all to, to the world is beliefs. Because belief systems are, if you like, fear made manifest into a limiting thought form. Mm. And what can save the world except yourself? Self with a capital S, so the mm. infinite self. If I return to the, my infinite nature, that will save me from the chains of my beliefs. Mm. A belief is powerful indeed. The thoughts you hold are mighty, and illusions are as strong in their effects as, the, as is the truth. That's interesting. Mm. A madman thinks the world he sees is real, and does not doubt it, nor can he be swayed by questioning his thoughts, effects. It is but when their source is raised to question that the hope of freedom comes to him at last. So, you know, the source from which thoughts stem, if you question the thoughts from which thoughts arise in the ego, then uh, the hope of freedom comes in. Because if you believe in your thoughts, then you're bound to limitation and illusion. So yet is salvation easily achieved for anyone is free to change his mind, and all his thoughts change with it. Mm. Mm. Now the source of thought has shifted, for to change your mind means you have changed the source of all ideas you think, or ever thought, or yet will think. You free the past from what you thought before. You free the future from all ancient thoughts of seeking what you do not want to find. That's very powerful. I mean, if you let go of the source of thinking, mm. then thoughts arise out of the infinite. Mm. But if you identify with your thoughts as being real, then thoughts stem from the field of limitation and uh, all the programs that are programmed within the uh, limited self. And I love this. And uh, you, s you free the future from all ancient thoughts of seeking what you do not want to find. I love that. Mm -hmm. In the ego, you're always seeking things that, you, you, that really the Holy Spirit has said you don't want to find it. So like in uh, the seeking, the seeking is the aspect of the separated consciousness because it's always seeking something, it's never at peace. You know, it's seeking money, it's seeking love, it's seeking security, mm -hmm. and it's seeking, <coughs> and it has its plans based in the future. So if it's, uh, if it's more thinner, or if it's got more money, or if it's got more validation, uh, then it will be... But the Course says you don't want to find what it's seeking, because what you seek will not fulfill the, the problem that it's trying to fulfill. So it says, like, if you have more money, you'll be at peace, but then when you have more money, you want more money. Or, you know, it's like, well, if, this person, if you get validation here, then you have peace, but when you get that validation, you want more validation. So because you're in the field of seekingness, you're in the field of being ever in the future, you're in, this, you're in the field of constant planning, you're in the field of constant thinking, you're in the field of ne now is never enough. So when you're in this seeking field, you can never be at peace because you know, it's only when the ego is released that peace is found, not from the seeking, but from letting go and surrendering the seeking and the field of thinking and the field of the ego. So the present now remains the only time. That's very nice. Mm -hmm. Here in the present is the world set free. For as you let the past be lifted and release the future from your ancient fears, you find escape and give it to the world. This is oh, I really like. Uh, when, you, when you're free, you also free the world. Mm -hmm. You see, so it's in my freedom from my beliefs and, and the future and the past that I become a saviour for the world, because I'm now free, i become eligible to free the world. Uh, you have enslaved the world with all your fears, your doubts and miseries, mm -hmm. your pain and tears, and all your sorrows press on it, and keep the world a prisoner to your beliefs. This is very relevant with coronavirus. Uh, death strikes it everywhere, 
because you hold the other's thoughts of death within your mind. This is very relevant. Uh, so if I hold the fear and the belief in coronavirus, I'm spreading that across the world. And, uh, and those who also hold fear and belief of coronavirus are spreading it. So the infection of holding mm -hmm. fear and belief, we are the infectious agents of limitation, all of us who hold that. Mm -hmm. And anyone who frees himself of the fear and the belief in coronavirus is also freeing oneself and the world of this uh, deadly belief. So the world is nothing in itself. Uh, your mind must give it meaning. And what you behold upon it are your wishes acting out so that you can look on them and think them real. So this is the thing of all I see is my projections of meaning, you know, all my belief systems and karma is what I perceive in the world and I suffer my projections. So anything, you know, what I ha hold is special and meaningful in my consciousness is my karma or are my belief systems and therefore that's what I see in the world or I project it out into the world uh, and so perhaps you think you did not make the world but came unwillingly to what was made already hardly waiting for your thoughts to give it meaning yet in truth you found exactly what you looked for when you came so if I'm, if I'm coming into the world with all my belief systems or karma that is directly what I see and suffer. I suffer my own belief systems and I project it out there and I get tormented <laughs> until, I, until I release them. And if all my belief systems are rendered meaningless, i.e. they dissolve in the light, then I cannot suffer. Or as, as Buddha said, you know, I suffer, you know, you suffer one's attachments. If I had no attachments, I'd be witnessing the world. I would not be at the effect of how the world makes my limited self suffer. Only the limited self can suffer, not the infinite self. There is no world apart from what you wish, and herein lies your ultimate release. Change but your mind on what you want to see, and all the world must change accordingly. Ideas leave not their source. This central theme is often stated in the text, and must be borne in mind if you would understand the lesson for today. It is not pride which tells you that you made the world you see and that it changes as you change your mind. But it is pride that argues you have come into a world quite separate from yourself, impervious to what you think and quite apart from what you chance to think it is. There is no world this is the central thought the Course attempts to teach. Not everyone is ready to accept it, and each one must go as far as he can let himself be led along the road to truth. He will return and go still further, or, or perhaps step back a while and then return again. But healing is the gift of those who are prepared to learn there is no world and, and can accept the lesson now. Their readiness will bring the lesson to them in some form which they can understand and recognise. Some see it suddenly on point of death and rise to teach it. Others find it in experiences that is not of this world, which shows them that the world does not exist because what they behold must be the truth. And yet it, it clearly co contradicts the world. And some will find it in this course and in the exercise that we do today. Today's idea is truth because the world does not exist. For my only, as it was talking about, some have had these experiences on death or other experiences. For those who've had like infinite, infinite white light spiritual experiences, it seemed clearly that it's only in identification with meaning that this world could come into existence and separation could come in. If nothing is identified, nothing is held dear, nothing is given meaning, then one returns into the infinite light. And it is indeed your own imagining, then, 
you can lo loose it from all things you ever thought it was by merely changing all the thoughts that give it these appearances. The sick are healed as you let go all thoughts of sickness, and the dead arise when you let thoughts of life replace all thoughts you ever held of death. A lesson earlier repeated once must now be stressed again, for it contains the firm foundation for today's idea. You are as God created you. There is no place where you can suffer, and no time that can bring change to your eternal state. How can a world of time and place exist if you remain as God created you? So I often teach the observer practice where you go to the witnesser of time and location and you realise that the true self is infinite and is not limited to place, time, identification or body or thought. So what is the lesson for today except another way of saying that to know yourself with a capital S is the salvation of the world. Mm -hmm. To free the world from every kind of pain is but to change your mind about yourself. There is no world apart from your ideas because ideas leave not their source and you maintain the world within your mind in thought. Yet if you are as God created you, you cannot think apart from him nor make what does not share his timelessness and love. Are these inherent in the world you see? Does it create like him? Unless it does, it is not real and cannot be at all. If you are real, the world you see is false, for God's creation is unlike the world in every way. And as it was his thought by which you were created, so it is your thoughts which made it and must set it free, that you may know the thoughts you share with God. Release the world, your real creations wait for this release to give you fatherhood, not of illusions but as God in truth. God sh shares his fatherhood with you who are his son, for he makes no distinctions in what is himself and what is still himself. What he creates is not apart from him, and nowhere does the Father end and the Son begin as something separate from him. There is no world because it is a thought apart from God, and made to separate the Father and the Son, and break away a part of God himself, and thus destroy his wholeness. So we just comment on that. You know, if there is any thought held in from the separated self, then the separated self is separated from God and from others. And when this separated self is dissolved, then experiences of oneness or the infinite light uh, are experienced. And it is, re it is realized through spiritual experience that there is no separation, there is no other, and there is no separation from God. Can a world which comes from this idea be real? Can it be anywhere? Deny illusions, but accept the truth. Deny you are a shadow briefly laid upon a dying world. Release your mind, and you will look upon a world released. Today our purpose is to free the world from all the idle thoughts we ever held about it, and about all living things we see upon it. They cannot be there. No more can we, for we are in the home of our Father, set for us along with them, and we who are as he created us would loose the world this day from every one of our illusions, that we may be free. Begin the 15 minute periods in which we practice twice today with this. I remain, I who remain as God created me, would loose the world from all I thought it was. For I am real because the world is not, and I would know my own reality. This merely, this merely, uh, this merely rest, uh, sorry, then merely rest, alert but with no strain, and let your mind in quietness be changed so that the world is freed along with you. You need not realize that healing comes to many brothers far across the world, as well as to the one you see nearby as you send out these thoughts to bless the world. 
but you will sense your own release, although you may not fully understand as yet that you would never be released alone. Hence anyone, uh, as Hawkins or TM Meditation shows, anyone who, release, who realizes the spiritual truth in themselves is a great blessing to clearing the suffering of the world. Throughout the day, increase the freedom sent through your ideas to all the world and say whenever you are tempted to deny the power of your simple change of mind, I loose the world from all I thought it was and choose my own reality instead. <laughs>